What's up, Technoba here for Surfer Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Xconomy. Xconomy is a super simple SQL and Vault compatible economy plugin for your Minecraft server. To install a plugin, head over to your Minecraft Server Pro dashboard, then the plugin section. Simply search for Xconomy. Install the latest version that's compatible with your server and restart. Do keep in mind that this plugin also requires the Vault plugin to be installed, which you can see in the Install section under the Plugins tab of your Server Pro dashboard. Now, while this plugin does technically work without an SQL database, it is a very good idea to set up one for our server. On Server Pro, we provide you with one on our Pro plans. If you're using Server Pro, it's really simple to set up your SQL database and link it to the plugin. If you don't already have an SQL database set up with Server Pro, simply head across to your Server Pro dashboard and then click the My SQL section on the left. Simply enable it and you'll then get your details. But before you can enter any of these, you need to restart your server at least once in order for the database to actually initialize. You'll know that it's initialized when you visit the file section and you notice a new MySQL server folder is created. As such, do keep in mind that I'll be referring to the information on the MySQL page rather often, so do keep this open in a new tab while we're filling in the actual settings. To start configuring our Xconomy plugin to work with our MySQL database, head across to the file section on the left hand side, then the plugins folder and Xconomy. Inside of Xconomy, you'll find a config file, database, and messages. Inside of the database.yml file, you'll find a bunch of configuration for the actual plugin itself. And here, we'll be filling in the information from the MySQL tab. So the host will change from localhost to be the IP address over here. As such, port will have to match the port on our SQL database page, the database name should match the database over here, and the user and password you can get from here as root and your password here. I'll copy these in as such. And of course, last but not least, change the storage type from SQLite to MySQL and save the file. Then go ahead and restart your server and wait for it to boot back up. Now that we've got the database set up, we can start using the plugin. Now, of course, because this is an economy plugin, there isn't too much to it. To get started, the first command you'll be using is slash help xconomy as such. This will give you all of the commands for the plugin, which will be a useful reference for later on. To get information on the plugin's version, type in xconomy. From here, we have slash balance or slash val to check your current balance on the server, slash money does the same, and we have slash balance top to check the balances of the top 10 players on the server. On top of this, we finally have slash pay, which we can follow by a player's name and an amount that we'd like to transfer to them. Of course, I can't pay myself. How exactly do we get some currency? Well, let's dive into the admin commands. Assuming you have OP or the required permissions, you can type in slash balance, give, set, or take to modify the amount of money that a player has. I'll give myself, say, 10,000. Upon doing this, you can see slash bell, I have 10,000 in-game dollars. Of course, give, take, and set are all laid out the exact same way and do very predictable things. If for some reason an admin would like to target a lot of people, you can use slash balance, space, followed by say, give, followed by star, space, all or online to target a certain group of players, space, followed by an amount and a reason if you'd like. Upon hitting enter, there'll be a broadcast in chat telling players why they received or money was taken from them and they'll get a notification that their balance was updated. If for some reason you'd like to hide players from bell top, it is incredibly simple. All you have to do is run slash balance top space hide or display followed by a player's name to show them or hide them from this top list of players. I'll run battle top once again after hiding myself and of course assuming I wasn't up you wouldn't see my balance in chat. The final command is super simple but of course very useful for the next section of this video. Slash xconomy space reload to reload the plugin settings from the configuration files. With that being said let's get into the config. So we've created an SQL server, we've linked it to the plugin, how exactly do we view and control the data? Well, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is download a SQL interface program such as the free MySQL Workbench that you'll find a link to in the description down below. I'll go ahead and add a connection and I'll enter the details from our MySQL page. After giving it a name, 
entering the hostname and the password that we found in our SQL dashboard, I'll go ahead and hit OK and then connect to it. Then I'll go ahead and expand the Server Pro database. Then expanding the table section, you'll see Xconomy and Xconomy record. If we open up, say, Xconomy, we'll see our user IDs, player names, balance, and whether we're hidden from the balance top command. This, of course, being a zero or a one. From here, we're able to double click and edit our balances. So I'll update this to say one, two, three, four. Then I'll click apply in the bottom right. And after running the SQL command, if we head back into game and type slash bell, you'll see that we have $10,000. But if we disconnect and reconnect to the server, run BAL once again, you'll see the updated balance. And of course, the Xconomy record table over here, if we expand it, simply contains a log of changing balances here. So an admin command was run over here, and at the very far right, we see the command and the time it was run. So balance set techno 10,000. You can see my balance is 10,000. For some reason, it shows as error, but I don't think an error was here. So if I run balance set techno say 1020, refresh our table, you'll see the new record over here. It's really that simple. This economy record is a log section and the economy table up here is simply just the list of players and balances. Let's get into the config. Head across to your Minecraft Server Pro dashboard, expand the files section, then go into the plugins folder, economy, and we have a bunch of files here. We've already explored the database.yml file. There's not too many other settings in here that you'll change unless you know what you're doing. So let's jump into the other files. The player data folder over here contains the default database, the SQLite database. Of course, while you won't be using this, if you set up a MySQL database, this is the default that it uses, this file inside of here. The config.yml file over here is rather limited, but it does contain the basic settings. Above each command, we have a short explanation or the options that we can punch in. So for example, language English, we also have Chinese, Chinese TW, English, French, Spanish, etc, etc. Then we have auto update settings, how long until it refreshes the top 10 and server total, whether it'll register the following commands, economy, eco, ebalance top, ebal top, and e-economy can be set through the eco command over here, disable essentials, set an initial balance for players joining the server, whether we can create non-player accounts, whether cache correction is turned on. For example, if you need to modify the data in the database directly, it is recommended to enable it. So of course, this was the reason that it wasn't working earlier why I had to reconnect to see my new balance. Changing this to true would obviously have solved that. Whether logging is enabled, semi-online mode, username case is ignored, and at the very bottom here, we have settings that you'd most likely change including the currency name for your server, which could be a real currency or a made up currency, whether you can only have whole numbers and not cents, how thousands are separated, the format that it's displayed as, i.e. the balance number followed by the currency name placeholder, the maximum balance that a player can have, and right at the very bottom, bungee cord settings. The last file that we haven't had a look at is the message.yml file over here. This is basically the localization file where you'd go and change the way that the plugin talks back to users in text chat. Once again, you won't really be modifying this file unless you'd like to customize it to better suit your server's theme. But anyways, that's about it for this simple plugin tutorial. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.